All right, topping our news in this hour, the deadly McKinney fire continues to burn unabated and remains 0% contained as of this morning. Four deaths right now are being blamed on the fire, which has consumed more than 56,000 acres since it began July 29th. The cause is still unknown. The, the McKinney fire, as you know, has forced thousands of people in Siskiyou County to evacuate, destroying homes that contain decades of memories. But for those homes and businesses the flames have not yet consumed, the Sheriff's Department there is reiterating a zero tolerance policy for anyone looting. Mason Carroll with our sister station in Reading has the story. We want to be here for the community if there's, you know, people need something. Thousands have been evacuated or are under an evacuation warning because of the McKinney fire, including Linda Lamar, who owns Minor Street Mercantile in downtown Wairika. She says they've never been in an evacuation zone before. About maybe eight miles from the fire, Wairika is about three or four. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's frightening. We haven't we've had many fires, but we haven't been in this position. So it's scary. Many businesses in the evacuation warning zone have closed and Lamar says they've also decided to stay behind because of the threat of looters. You know, it's a concern because there have been looters and people walking around and they could break our windows and we have a lot of merchandise in here. So we're a little concerned about that. We want to show presence so maybe they won't come down here and break our windows or the neighbors, you know, everybody on the street. So whether you're in an evacuation zone or in parts of Wairika that are under an evacuation warning, the Siskiyou County Sheriff's Office says looting of any kind will not be tolerated. We have zero tolerance here for any of that. And, uh, you know, if I had it my way, I would change the laws and people would be locked up for a long time for even attempting such a stupid and foolish thing. Uh, so if we catch you out doing anything like that, um, yeah, you're going to be arrested and we're going to keep you as long as we can. Lamar says the people of Siskiyou County have been through a lot of fires, but always come together. I think Wairika is really strong. We're used to fires, unfortunately. Um, we get a lot of fires, and the past couple of years has been devastating. So people pull together when people need help. So we are strong, and we're here, and uh, we're, you know, we're here to help each other, too. In Siskiyou County, Mason Carroll, The North States News.